Hello, my name is Gent Paparisto and I'm a product engineering architect with Cadence. And today we'll show you a demo of the integration between the Roden Schwartz and Cadence products, specifically between the WinIQ Sim 2 and VSC from Roden Schwartz and the VSS product from Cadence. So in this demo, we will show the connection between the Roden Schwartz uh, RNS signal generation and analysis and the Cadence VSS software. Uh, the Roden Schwartz uh, connectivity to VSS was released late last year and it's available from uh, Roden Schwartz. It comes with a signal source and signal receiver that uh, is implemented in VSS and it allows you to bring any standard generated signals from Roden Schwartz into VSS, uh, run them through any device or an RF link in VSS and then send them back to Roden Schwartz for uh, displaying the measurements uh, in, in, the, uh, in their uh, software. These are the same signals that have, are uh, created in, in the hardware from Roden Schwartz and the same measurements that are implemented in their hardware uh, receivers. Furthermore, we can take advantage of the D, uh, DPD, the digital pre-distortion algorithms that Roden Schwartz offers in their hardware and we have them also implemented in this uh, flow that we're showing here. What uh, I'm showing here is actually a signal source that comes from Ron and Schwartz. It's a uh, 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 200 megahertz wide 5G signal. Uh, it goes into an amplifier model that was extracted with data collected by Ron and Schwartz equipment and it's also the, the same devices available in, uh, in, in the lab and also uh, it shows now the RS sync which is the, the block that would send the signal ba back to Rodden Schwartz. When we first run this you can see that the signal source is the black curve on the right. It's a pretty clean signal. The output of the, the nonlinear device is the red curve which uh, shows, significant, uh, uh, shows significant degradation and spectral regrowth. Now I'm, I'm just running a simple script that would call uh, continuously the signal generation from Roden Schwartz, run VSS, run the, the signal through the model in VSS and then go back to Roden Schwartz and, uh, and then uh, uh, call the, the DPD. So when I, uh, when I run this uh, uh, piece of software, you will see that the very first time it runs the clean signal through the, sig through the system it does uh, then uh, take the output of it, send it back to uh, sends it back to the Roden Schwartz software, the VSC software, and then uh, calculates a pre-distorted version, which it brings it back into VSS and repeats this cycle. In this case, in this case, we're repeating the cycle five times. We can already see how the uh, ACPR is improving. It starts at minus 32 dB, and after the first iteration, is minus 48, and it continues. Uh, and we'll run this for, for five uh, iterations. You can clearly see that the spectral um, output is uh, improved quite a bit uh, compared to where we started, and the black curve is the pre-distorted waveform that is fed back into the, uh, into the amplifier. Once we're done with the five iterations, we, are, we can uh, plot uh, the results from all five iterations. You can see that the ACPR improved from minus 32 to minus 57 dB and then you can visually see the spectral uh, measurements showing that the spectral regrowth has, has been uh, decreased significantly. Again, this is um, now, you know, here's the, the VSC software showing the same type of results, the, the Roden Schwartz software, and if you're interested you can contact us for more information. Thanks for watching. For more information please go to cadence.com.